me out of here! Who's there? Who's there? Let me out! Who are you? My name is Billy. Please. I've been trapped in here for so long. How did you end up in there? I hid in here to get away from the bomb. But there isn't a handle on the inside, and it's really dark in here. The bombs were over 200 years ago. You're that old? I don't know how long I've been in here. A long time, though. A really long time. Please, I don't want to die in here. Why should I trust you? I'm really tired and lonely. Can't you just open the door? Let me think about it. You're just gonna leave me in here? Don't go! Come back! Who's there? Let me out! I'm just looking for the mayonnaise. Maybe you could grab it for me. Second shelf, right next to the pudding. That's not funny. That's not funny at all. What kind of horrible person would say that to a kid stuck in a refrigerator? Besides, I ate the pudding a long time ago. You might be lying. I'm not, I swear. I got inside to be safe. Now I can't get out. If I try something, you can shoot me. Okay, okay. I'll let you out. Yes. I've been stuck in here for so long. Hurry up. Shoot the door off. Ah, uh, my legs are so stiff. Everything's so different. I guess I was in there for a really long time. What do I do now? So, what's the story with you and that fridge? It happened so long ago, back before everything got wrecked. When I heard the sirens, I tried to find someplace safe. When everything started to shake and fall apart, I just crawled inside. When it got quiet again, I tried to get out, but there isn't a handle on the inside. I just want to go home. Can you help me? Please? Where did you live? Quincy, but I don't know how to get there. Everything's so different. It's all blown up. I just want to find out what happened to my mom and dad. Then let's go find your home. Keep up, pal. We got an adventure ahead of us. Thanks. I live in Quincy. Or at least, I used to. But I don't know how to get there. Everything's so different. It's all blown up. Uh, it's really bright out. I haven't seen the sun in so long. Are you in there? Billy! Billy! Son, is 
that really you? It's me. It's really me. Oh my god! We thought you were dead. What happened to you? You're all burned up like me. We're ghouls, Billy. The radiation changed us. Looks like it did the same thing to you. Don't worry about it, Billy. Your dad and I don't care what you look like. We still love you. I love you too, Mom. I missed you guys. It's been so long. Thank you for bringing us you back there, a little bit. In boy. the house. I want those ghouls, especially that kid. You can give him a peaceful life or die trying to save him. What does he want me? Oh my god, they want Billy. They won't take us, Carol. At least not alive. Billy, get upstairs. The house is empty. Looks like they left in a hurry. You don't mind if we check for ourselves, do you? You should have taken my offer the first time.
Hey there. Thank you for bringing us back our little boy. And saving us from that man. So, how did you end up as ghouls? We... didn't make it to the shelter in time. The door was shutting as the bombs fell. We both must have taken a lot of radiation. I guess we were some of the lucky ones. Most folks die instead of becoming ghouls. Must be something in both our genes. So that's why you guys look like me. Yeah, Billy. That's why. <laughs> Although it's really more why you look like us. We wandered for a while, but eventually came back here. We've been living here ever since. Not really anywhere else to go. Let me thank you. Take this. Excuse me. Uh, thank you for saving Billy. Hey. Juan, there's something bothering you? Your thoughts? A Commonwealth's not an easy place to travel alone. Nice to have someone watching my back. Nothing else for now. Got it. <laughs> 